All right, guys. As a Western European, a French, Dutch guy, let me tell you, American women and Western European women are the same now. They are alike. We've got feminism, wokeism, bitter single women over 40 years old with a cat. So let's listen to how these older women cope with loneliness nowadays. I'm 42, and that means half of my life is over. Yeah, of course. We are all, we humans are all equal towards time and aging. For my husband for so many years, and I'm just getting mad, and I'm about to turn 40. There's a lot of stress on me right now. Yeah, because you had the opportunity to find a man before you turned 30, but you was too picky. So now you're 40 years old. 40 years old is technically not too old to have kids. But by the time you find a man, marry him, stay with him for a while to understand whether it's the right fit or not, you will most likely be 45, if not more. That's the problem. And that's old to have kids. I'm not okay being single. I don't want to be single. And I get depressed. Um, and yeah, because you need a man, you know. Men need women and women need men. We need each other to be happy. I have really missed kind of having someone to talk to. Three failed relationships since my marriage had ended. This is for... That's promising. You want to be the next one? <laughs> you want to marry her? I think the, the chances of failure are very, very high. For all my single friends, it's tough. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult to ever find someone to share the simple pleasures of life. Okay, this is... Yeah, because I'm sure she had the opportunity to get married before, you know. Uh, I'm sure she had plenty of men before, but now she gets older and she understands, you know, time is sticking and she has to find a, a man to be not alone anymore and uh, to have kids if she, wa if she wants kids. This for all my single girlies in their late 20s, early 30s. Where are we finding men now? I'm 30 and beginning to think that this whole dying alone thing isn't going to be like a running joke. It's going to be reality. Okay, y'all? It's not reality. It's bullshit, okay? It's easy to find men, but you are just too picky, okay? Or you, you pick only the assholes. That's why. But there are plenty available men over there. Here in Western Europe, I know some men, quality men, who are available. And they struggle finding quality women. But you are too picky. That's the reason why. True story. Single in San Antonio. I'm at Lowe's. I'm about to walk in and get a replacement for my guest bathroom toilet. Who's going to come rescue me? I want to be rescued. I've spent the first 40 years of my life refusing to be rescued. I'm over it. Come rescue me. Come save me. I'm officially a damsel in distress. I need my yard mode. I need my toilet fixed. And I need some other... And I need blah, 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 blah. I need so much. Everything's done around my house. Help? I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. So if you are a single man who can pass a background check, you have a pulse. You're... A background check. A background check, as if it were a uh, job interview. So long story short, she wants, she's tired, she needs, but what do you uh, bring to the table? We need things as well, we men, okay? It's only about you. Only about her, I mean, you know? She needs, she wants, she's tired, but think about us. If you want people to help you, if you want to, to take something from people, you have to bring some kind of value to people. So what kind of value do you bring? You're employed and you don't live with your mama? Come help me, okay? Okay guys, send your resume. <laughs> Tell me in the comment below guys, what do you think about this? Do you send your resume, your cover letter to her? <laughs> hey, I need your help. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired. Oh my God, I learn so much from this app. And today I learned that women expire at 25. I've been expired for nine years already. What am I going to do? I mean, I don't even have a burial plot yet. At least I have the cats. What? At least I have the cats. That sounds very miserable to me, very lonely. But by the way, 25 is not old. That's not true, you know? Some men say, yeah, a woman expires at 25. And it's not the case, you know? She can have kids until 40 years old, no problem. If she 
didn't drink too much, didn't smoke too much. If she's fit, no problem at all, okay? But after 40, yeah, it gets, it gets more difficult. But nowadays, until 40 years old, no problem. And uh, she can be in good shape, you know? If you take care of your body as a woman, uh, do sport, don't smoke, don't drink too much, you will have a nice body until uh, 50 years old, if you take care of it, which most women don't do. That's their problem, especially in Europe. And the US, I think, is the same with the fast food. Tell me in the comment below what you guys think, if you are from the US. What is the hardest part about being single in your 50s? Is it that you still remember how great it felt to fall in love and think about getting married and having kids? Mm -hmm. Is it that we have had so many bad experiences mm -hmm. in a marriage that we're now divorced and we don't want to repeat them? What is it? What makes this so hard? We are all looking for the same thing. We all want to be happy, at peace, and possibly have somebody to share it with. Why is this so hard? Think that well, maybe it was your fault as well, you know? Blaming men for everything. I know you are this one, you know? Always men, men faults. But you, maybe you were too picky. Maybe you were a difficult person to, to live with, you know? Maybe you should change if it's not too late. I don't remember how old she was. Scary part, specifically with when you're a woman, is that you're... Not bad looking, this one. Still nice. You're kind of told by society in all these ways that as you get older, you lose your value. And that's because a ton of our value is placed on physical appearance, which of course, as society likes to tell us, declines as you're aging. But, but that's true, you know? Uh, looks are more important for women. That's the way it is. You know, men want looks, and women want money. That's the way it is. You know, it's the cold hard truth. I'm not saying it should be that way. It's the way it is. You know, we we men we find you know beautiful women more appealing. You know, and women they tend to to prefer you know men with money or at least some a good situation. You know to to be a provider and to uh, to provide some kind of security, you know? It, it's the way it is. It, it has always been that way, you know? So, what you wanna do? Men get to be these salt and pepper zaddies and they get to show all their wrinkles and they get to look rough on magazine covers and women just get more and more photoshopped. <laughs> yeah, true. You know, men don't need to be pretty, beautiful, uh, handsome. I know men are handsome, but I like to say pretty because I believe men who are too into looks, they are kind of gay to me. You know, if you are, if you are a man, you want to be the most handsome around. To me, you are kind of gay, or maybe you are, but you're not aware of it. You know, men don't need to be handsome. They need to be fit, strong, in good shape, and that's all. You know, being pretty is something for women. First of all, women don't hit a wall. Whoa. Sorry, it doesn't. It's not. It's not a thing. If any man tells you that a woman hits a wall, that is not a man you need to be dealing with. Women don't. Well, I guess you can hear. You can hit a pachyderm as well. If you know what I'm saying. I don't want to be rude, but you're overweight, and you know it. I can see it. Don't hit walls. Women always have value. Women actually increase in value in a lot of ways. So anyone who tells what the increase in value yeah more sexual experience maybe but uh you know we men we don't like uh women who have a lot of uh you know a, a huge body count if you had a lot of men you know before us we don't really like that at least for a long-term relationship and uh, no when it comes to looks you know uh, women yeah they peak at age 30 maybe a bit later if she is asian for example but Otherwise, no. Sorry. Tells you that women have hit a wall. Not a thing. You're in your early 20s. Listen to this. We need to have a little chit chat. Um, hi, 27 year old older sister here. Mm. Um, yeah, 27. I want to let you know your life doesn't end at 27, at 28, at 30. You're not going to start getting wrinkles. Your metabolism is not going to change. You're not going to start feeling feral like you need to have a family or get married. You are going to feel the... Ex well, not at age 29, 28, but at age 40, yes. 
your body will change that's reality so you still have some time left you know it's not too late to have kids to have a family to get married it's not too late 28 years old is not late nowadays it used to be late for our you know grandparents for example it was late to have kids at 28 but nowadays no but hurry up the clock is ticking exact same in your late 20s and in your 30s as you do right now the amount of women i know who have stopped dating is astronomical they aren't even looking anymore because that's how disappointed and fed up they are with the male sex Men, do better the world needs more strong men and i don't mean strong as in goes to the gym and bench presses 200 i mean strong as in safe protector kind compassionate gentle Think about it this way well i agree with that you know a strong man is not a you know good fighter a strong man is a you know a protector provider a man you can count on that's a that's a strong man to me so i agree with that okay. women are so fed up with y'all that they would rather just be alone forever than even have to speak to you anymore that's not enough to make you get off your ass and wake up i don't know what is one time there, but there are still, you know, a lot of quality uh, men over there. But you don't give them a chance. You're too picky, most likely. Okay? You're too picky. Because I understand. I understand her point. She wants, you know, a protector, provider, a kind guy. I understand it. I agree with that. But, you know, most men are not, you know, in the multiple six figures per year. They are not uh, multimillionaires. Uh, they are, don't look like Brad Pitt uh yeah and they, they are not perfect so if you're looking for perfection of course you will end up alone at 50 years old if your cat i promise that's a promise i can do if you uh, if you are too picky have a man say to me like women have such a short time frame of like your mm -hmm. prime years once you hit a certain age like life is over for a woman if you're not like married and married. have kids yeah. And, yeah so what well life is over as a single single woman uh, who likes to party and uh, be more of a girl than a woman but if you are let's say 40 years old you have kids you are married no your life is not over because you are playing a, an important role in society but if you are still behaving like a 20 years old way when you are 40 years old yeah sure life is over and it's gonna it's gonna suck for you because time is ticking again. What advice do you have for like girls our age that are like have this like internal clock going on in their heads? Yeah. Stop it. Because it's reality, you know, it's nature. I think these dusty boys, <laughs> they have a timeline too. Well, you're gonna be <laughs> bald in five years. <laughs> Even those um, boys, I don't wanna call them men, they're just expressing what they think they know. They have zero idea what menopause is. Yeah. Yeah, we are all equal towards you no know, time. Men sometimes get bald. I'm bald. I've been bald for 15 years, but nobody cares. My wife doesn't give a fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck about me being bald. No, because I don't need to be handsome. You know what I, I'm saying? It's uh, being pretty is for women. You know, being good looking is for women. We don't need to be good looking, man. You know. Anyway, what does she say? Right. I'm like, barely I know what a period is. Like, they, I mean, we have a different journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who runs the world? Girls. Exactly. Hello. Bullshit. What do you guys think? Who runs the world? Girls or boys? Men. It's still men. When a woman would come in to the matchmaking agency, she would say, I want a man who is older than me. So my age or older. You know what the man would say? The man would say, I want a woman who is one half my age plus seven. Now, he wouldn't say that exactly, but that was that the matchmaking the number. number. So you think about that. So if oh you, my God. If, if you are a 50 year old so man, yeah, <laughs> but, but think about that. If you're a 50 year old man, one half, 25 plus seven, 32. Right. Does a 50 year old man want a 32 year old woman? Definitely. On average. Yes. I mean, yes. 
I've seen that happen in my circle of friends. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How funny. I'm genuine. Well, if the man is 50 and she is 32, that's a 18 years old age gap. That's a lot, you know. Uh, I think uh, over 10 years uh, of age gap, it's kind of risky because the mentality is just different. You know, when I talk to way younger men than me, for example, I'm almost 40. I'm going to turn 40 uh, years old next year. When I talk to somebody, you know, under 25, he sounds kind of strange to me. You know, he, you, you can feel, you know, the mentality is not the same. So um, when the, the gap, the age gap is too big, it can be, no, it's, it's risky. It's risky. It's riskier, you know. You rather, I think, find a woman, you know, who's closer to your age. Let's say, ten years less, no more. Okay. Otherwise, it's my opinion. Tell me in the, uh, tell me in the comment below what you guys think. But um, I think, uh, yeah, ten years is the max. Really starting to think that there's something wrong with me. So last night I went on a date with a very, very nice guy. Now tell me why I'm sitting here thinking, you know what, God? Actually, I think I want a few more lessons. Like, what the actual f***? <laughs> if I were to really think about it, though, and analyze it, I'm assuming this is probably because I considered my ex to be, like, a nice guy, and I'm just now realizing how much he, like, really messed me up and gave me, like, really bad commitment issues. That's what I've learned. Indeed, she she seems very messed up. She's very strange. She she gave me the impression, you know, she's very uh, unstable, an unstable person, a person you want to, you don't want to to go into a long term relationship with. Being single seven months. This one is good looking as well. After being in a relationship for four years, that. Should have left earlier. First of all, take your time. If you don't want to talk to a single male, you don't need to. But if you do, then do it and have fun with it. It doesn't need to be serious. It's not like... Have fun. I mean, get banged. Just have fun, girls. Get banged, you know. Increase that body count, you know. So when you will be 35, you will had, you have had, you know, over 100 men. And men will like that. <laughs> high school just because you're hanging out with someone you don't need to like make things official it's what you want to make of it my personal favorite part is being independent i am so independent now I actually prefer to be alone sometimes which couldn't be me before yeah for the time being because you're still young at least you you look young okay but when you will be 40 or more you will be lonely you won't be alone anymore or you will be alone but lonely as well okay so uh think about it Think about it. I'm not afraid to stay in. I'm not afraid to go out. I do whatever I want to do. I am so content being alone. I have so much fun alone. I've learned... Yeah, you have a lot of fun for the time being. We'll see in 10, 15 years from now. If it was that funny. So much about myself that I didn't know before. Also, I'm learning to love myself and truly myself. Have my energy back. Like... Truly myself. And she's, you know, uh, using a ton of makeup, you know? <laughs> And she's saying, yeah, I want to be myself. Well, if you want to be yourself, don't use makeup, you know? Don't, uh, don't become a doll. Show your, who you are, <laughs> really are. I'm attracting good energy because my energy is good. I'm so... No, you are attracting men who want to have sex with you for one night. That's all. I can tell you as a man, okay? Anyway. Tell me in the comment below what you guys think about all this. Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Check the links below in the description. And uh, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Some have already done it. So uh, yeah, if you want to talk with me about, you know, uh, be an expat in expatriate, you know, finding a, a woman, you know, abroad, uh, becoming location independent, it's in the description. And yeah, comment below, share this video. And uh, we are out. Talk to you soon.